Hi, I'm your host, Delmar Anthony, and this is Redneck.Life Productions. A few years ago, Hurricane Sandy blew down this huge pine tree. So I took the top of it and cut it off and moved it down in the woods, and I built a hut for the critters. I'm going to show you the different stages of it in construction. After moving this stump down in the woods, the first thing I did was got a forester bit and drilled a bunch of two and an eighth inch holes to make my roof. Then I went and cut a bunch of two inch cherry trees, all the same length, and I put them through them holes. The next thing I did was cut a bunch of three inch dead pine trees down to make the edges of it. After I cut my three inch pine trees from, for the edging of the roof, I drilled holes in them to match the rafters and I put all that together and then I took some two by fours for the bottom on the back where there was no stump to hold that roof up. Once that was done I cut bark and tacked the bark on the top of the roof rafters and then I put plywood over that and drove several nails into the plywood so I could start putting my moss on the top. Here you can see a shot of the bark on top of the rafters and then I put plywood on top of that bark and nailed it down. Then I took a bunch of nails and, and just nailed them in that they stuck up an inch to two inches on top of that plywood. That's how I hung my moss. The nails held the moss on. Then I just packed moss all the way around that roof, front to back. Next I went to the swamp and I picked up about 20 buckets, five gallon buckets full of moss. I tried to pull it off in sheets, six, eight inches wide, a foot wide by two foot long. And it took about 20 buckets to cover that whole roof from both sides. So here's a couple views of that. Here you can see a shot of the door. I cut the door in and two windows in. And then the next thing I did was to cut hinges out of steel and pound them and paint them black and then I put them on. It wasn't long after I got the hinges on the door that a snapping turtle decided to move in. I guess it wanted a place to bed down after a long day of working in the swamp. The squirrels seem to like it too. They go in and out the window all the time. We also put a nice sandy path leading up to the door to, of the hut. Here we can see a few views of the hut at different times of the year. Thank you for watching. This has been a production of Redneck.Life. And check out our webpage, Redneck.Life, and see what else is happening in Honey Hole, PA. Thank you very much.